Hey everybody, I'm Judy Doherty and I'm here at our Tupperware studio in Spring, Texas. And I wanna welcome you. Uh, today we're gonna actually make a whole chicken in our pressure cooker in 30 minutes. Imagine that. No longer do you have to go over to the grocery store and buy a rotisserie chicken because you can make yours so easy. So let's get this uh, party started as we like to say in Tupperware. Um, <clears throat> very first thing that I've done is I've purchased a chicken and it is, um, I'm gonna say about five pounds, could be five and a quarter-ish, and I've cleaned it out. And when you clean it out, you just wanna make sure to uh, put it under some water. Uh, my mother always soaked her chicken in salt, cold salt water for at least 15 minutes or so. And um, she always said that drew the blood out. So. However you like to uh, prepare your chicken, you wanna do that to get it ready to go in. Cleaning out the inside, if there are any uh, bits and pieces like your liver and <laughs> stuff that they put in it, you definitely wanna remove those. Okay, you don't wanna cook with those in it. So um, I cleaned it out and it is ready to go here on the tray. <clears throat> now, when you make your chicken, you do not have to do what I'm doing here, and that is adding onion and I'll actually add a carrot and some celery here in just a second. But I love the taste and I think it's, <clears throat> it really enhances it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my chicken that's been cleaned, I'll put on some gloves, which will be awful to work with, but it'll be easier and clean up here um, to have those. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take in the cavity, once it's clean, pat it dry. Um, I'm gonna take in the cavity and I'm gonna add some vegetables. And again, the reason I do this is I just think it makes a really nice uh, taste. You know, like when you do a turkey at Thanksgiving and stuff, you uh, tend to um, stuff it, even if it's carrot and celery, onion, just to give it flavor like that. So um, that's what I'm gonna do because I think it enhances it. Now, my husband always eats the vegetables, which I think is kind of funny because I just put them in there to taste everything. So I have a couple carrots. I've gone ahead and washed them. I have an onion that I'm just gonna shove in the cavity and some celery. It was the heart of the celery, so how cool was that? I love the leaves. They actually give it really great flavor. So I'm gonna shove this in and they're gonna kind of hang out. That's okay, That it's just gonna give your your chicken the flavor that you're looking for. Let's see if I can get that carrot back in there and <laughs> stick it out. It looks like a, uh, what do you call it, a um, tank. <laughs> Here it is. And my goodness, I think I can fit that other piece of my onion in. <clears throat> okay, so can you see that? Um, well, here, I'll show you. Just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, so I've just put those vegetables in and uh, kind of just shoved them in. You can put them on the other side as well. So the next thing that I wanna do is, actually, while my gloves are on, is I'm going to put it into the pressure cooker. So the pressure cooker is two pieces. You have the two liter capacity, which the first time you see it, you think, oh, is that all the size? You know, my family's a family of four or six. Two liters is a lot when you're making it. So I think you'll be uh, surprised with that. So I'm gonna take my whole chicken that's cleaned with the veggies in it, and I'm gonna set it right down into the pressure cooker. There we go. Get that onion shoved in there a little bit. <clears throat> Put these in the magic drawer. I hope you guys have a magic drawer at home. The magic drawer is where I put all my dirty dishes here at the studio and they come out clean. <laughs> By the way, I don't have one at home, so I like to cook here at the studio. So um, what I've done, I've put the chicken in and I'm gonna add to the top some Southwest Chipotle seasoning blend. Um, this is one of my favorite blends that we uh, blend here at the studio. We can always give you the recipe for it if you would like to, to make it at home. And uh, the whole reason that you're gonna make your own seasoning blends is because that way you know what's in it and you're not paying for any filler. <clears throat> so look how beautiful this is. Why would I ever buy a chicken 
already made when I have when I can put one into the pressure cooker in three minutes and 30 minutes later have it cooked, right? I just am not gonna do it. Plus, you know, the chickens they use are not always the cleanest, freshest chickens. So let's go ahead and take our cover. You're gonna uh, set it down. There's actually little arrows that you're gonna line up. You're gonna turn it, close this, and put down the handle, and voila, that's it. That's it, whole chicken. You could skip the vegetables if you want, but since my family is eating this, because you're not here, I like to have the vegetables. It gives a nice taste. So I'm gonna pop this in. 30 minutes, I did not add any water. All right, so let's put this in for 30 minutes. Hello. 30 minutes on high. So there we have it. Next, what I'm gonna do is clean up my Southwest Chipotle, I spilled everywhere. <laughs> and um, I always put my knives, put the sheaves back on, that makes it safe going into my magic drawer so nobody gets cut. The next thing I wanna do for my dinner is, <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. This is like dinner's done easy, right? Skip and ditch the drive-through. I'm gonna use our steamer which is part of the whole system. And I'll post a catalog below this in case you uh, haven't seen one, but our steamer, and this is what it looks like. Let me, it's called the uh, Smart Cooker, actually has a steamer inside of it. And so it makes it really great because you can do many, many things with this. So you have the steaming mechanism, which you can do protein, side dishes, vegetables. <clears throat> In the big base, you're gonna fill up the water to the fill line. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me get something to add some water in and go up to that very first line on it. For steaming, that base will allow the water to boil and steam anything that's inside of the steamer. I should have had my water out so you didn't have that, but here we go. So I'm gonna fill it up to the very first line. There we go. Next, in the large part of the uh, steamer, which is this one, you see how big that is? This is metal encapsulated in plastic. So when I set this down in, that's what I was saying, the water will get hot and boil and the steam is gonna come up through and cook. <clears throat> and this, since Bill and I are having dinner, he likes white potato, I like sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna put those down in. And then the other thing we're gonna have is broccoli. And what I'm gonna do is just in a little bit, but my potatoes will probably take about 20 minutes steam time. So I want about 10 minutes or 12 minutes. I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to add in the small steamer, my broccoli. And I've already washed it cut it up, it's in the florets, and I'm going to put that on the top of the steamer. So let me set this in the microwave, and this one's going in for 20 minutes. So this is when I wish I had two microwaves in my kitchen at home. You are gonna love this. So when I'm all finished, I'm gonna have a rotisserie chicken, I'm gonna have a potato, sweet, and then white for bill, and then I'm gonna have some fresh steamed broccoli. And it's, it's only gonna take at the max 30 minutes. So easy, right? So easy that you can come home, you can put these in, in the microwave, and then you can walk away. Now, since most of us do not have two microwaves at home, and I get that, you can put your chicken in, and then when you pull, out, pull it out and let the resting time happen, <clears throat> pop in your potatoes, and that way you'll get them both cooked. So I'm gonna pause the video, let these cook, and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. 